What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Wardcast. Every Monday, we bring you the latest in video game news, talk about survival horror, machinima, and what's going on at the Ward. I'm one of your hosts, Sean Clark, alongside Jazz Rich, Alec Funnel, and Cody Howard. Did you know zombies are based on Haitian voodoo? Yeah. You didn't. I don't know. Now some people know. The more you know. Rainbow. Time <laughs> for that one. If we get a copyright strike for that, okay. <laughs> for for just saying the more you know, I don't think it no, works like that. Do, 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 like the the more it you know. It was under thing. six seconds. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, true. Nailed it. <laughs> So, uh, The Last of Us Part 2 is coming out in February, and uh, the game looks beautiful, gameplay looks great, characters appear to have depth, story seems interesting, doesn't really look like there's anything to complain about here, right? So far. This is I'm where sure you got something to complain about. Exactly. Fucking wrong. It's always something to complain about. I hate that things keep coming back to this, but... Uh, I guess it's just a symptom of the times, but apparently people are complaining about the fact that Ellie's new girlfriend, Dinah, gets, quote, fridged. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck does fridged mean? Exactly. What the fuck does fridged (laughs) mean, you ask? I'm going to look it up. I had no idea either prior to reading about this bullshit, but Fridged comes from a website called Women in Refrigerators, a group of feminist comic book fans. What? The term fridged is, quote, a superhero comic book trope whereby female characters are injured, raped, killed, or depowered, sometimes to stimulate protective traits, and often as a plot device intended to move a male character's story arc forward. So go ahead and soak that in for a minute. I mean, it's the damsel in distress, yes. Ca- what does it have to do with it? If fridge? it's a female, nothing bad is, isn't ever allowed to happen to it, and they must be the almighty deity figures that that people want them to be. I, I guess it's. It in if I'm in a fridge. I guess it. <laughs> I guess it's taking that to the next level, like the whole damsel in distress thing. Because instead of them being in distress, I guess they get killed, and we can't kill people, you know. All hail the uterus! All yeah. hail the uterus! <laughs> So now, what does it have to do with a fridge? I have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> I, I don't know. I got it. I got it. She has a blue waffle. waffle. Jesus. So now, this is a term being thrown around for The Last of Us Part Two, a game focused on a gay woman who is theorized to have had her female lover killed to propel a story revolving around hatred and revenge. They're using this term towards a game that is essentially doing the opposite of what the term is used for. Mm. This this is a positive thing. We have a gay female lead and a triple A title doing the opposite of this fridging bullshit and still people complain. Never mind the fact that the more we bring unwanted and unneeded attention to situations of gender and sexual orientation, the more we feed division and inequality. When we have a female lead, it should be treated as normal. When we have a gay lead, it should be treated as normal. But instead, we look for the stupidest shit to rip apart, or the opposite where we feel the need to throw a party to celebrate the fact that the focus is on a woman or a gay character. Like, equality will happen when all genders and all sexual orientations don't have a reaction. Whether it's negative or positive, it's just normal. It's never fucking treated that way. And in, because people want to be offended because they all want attention because they're yeah, all selfish and fucking... It gives them wow. something to fucking complain about and and give them, yeah, attention. And in, defense, <laughs> and in defense of killing off loved ones to fuel a revenge story, whether it be any gender, like, this is done because loss is one of the most powerful emotions and probably the best in terms of a revenge motive. If anything... It gives power to the character that is killed, as that person's value to the lead character influences everything that they do in the story. The more powerful or emotionally driven the character becomes, like that accentuates the that character that died even further because it all stems from that person. That sacrificed character is important. That's the whole point of killing them off. If that character was meaningless, killing them off wouldn't do anything. It wouldn't have any meaning. 
like they build up a loved one and they drive home the fact that that person is important to the main character therefore killing that character it's a very impactful thing on the story it's not like belittling that character or being like oh it's just a girl let's just kill her off but that's like that's how it's treated and that's so further away from what the whole point of that is in the first place what do, what do you guys think like what are your thoughts on the two things just the whole like killing off the character to motivate the the main character kind of situation and then just the whole fucking fridged bullshit I think the fridge thing is super fucking dumb. And honestly, like, I'm all in favor for killing off a character, especially, like, if, like, you build them up and care about them because that makes a game more memorable and you're going to be talking about it for years. Like, this fucking top ten video is like, the top ten deaths of video game, blah, blah, blah. And, <laughs> like, if you care about someone and they die, like, how many fucking spoiler alert for the fucking 30-year-old games? Like, how many top 10 lists of, like, a video game character dying have fucking what's-her-face from Final Fantasy VII? Yeah, Aerith. Yeah. Like, that's, that's Games Remember, that's one of its fucking highlight moments for a bunch of people. Yep, and what did that do? It fucking fueled Cloud to go after Sephiroth, right? It had fucking purpose. Right. I'm all for Fridge. No. <laughs> <laughs> Alec? Yes? What do you have thoughts? Well, if people were getting wound up about it, just put put it in perspective. If if she was losing a straight character, you know, a boyfriend, it's like, would people be bitching? Probably, probably not. not. <laughs> well, they would. There would probably be less of a fucking outcry, but clearly they would still bitch because here we have this situation where it's a female who is gay. They're doing this, and they're still fucking complaining about it. So it's just like, it doesn't matter what you do. They're just going to complain. They're going to find a reason to fucking complain. It's like the Powerpuff Girls. You have to have all three ingredients. You have to have gay, you have to have (laughs) female, but they're missing strong. They're missing survivor. No, that's not true. It's Ellie. She's got all that. not Ellie, the, the lover that dies, I'm saying. Oh, I see. I guess that remains to be seen. You're missing chemical X. <laughs> <laughs> they did yes. it in the first game though, and nobody complained. Uh yeah. Like the only reason Joel sticks around. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, I guess it didn't set him on his mission, I guess. You know, like he he lost his daughter and then he kind of moved on and then he found Ellie. So I guess it's kind of different. But I'm I'm not talking about his daughter. I'm talking about the, like, do we care for spoilers? Nah. I mean, spoiler alert for the Last Everyone of Us. Who's gonna spoiler play alert. It probably so, already played it. So his he his focus was just to bring Ellie wherever and fuck off, right? But when Tess died, he like kept going because she's like, oh, then she didn't die for nothing, and obviously there was something between Joel and Tess. Yeah, I mean, I felt that a little bit, but. Tess but... Wasn't- Yay! No. <laughs> she you don't know. Oh, she was. Trust me. I just got more of a vibe that it was more about Ellie, you know, because he saw his daughter in her. But I mean, of course, that was a factor with Taz. Taz. Blah. <laughs> with but Taz. 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 Yeah. It's something that they've been doing in movies and games forever. And if people are going to start bitching now, then I think we should just not bother solving global warming because everyone's stupid. (laughs) (laughs) I don't want to keep this planet going. Just let it melt. Just let it go. Yeah, let go. No. It just, it it really pissed me off to see this because like when, you know, when I was watching the trailers and just getting the information about The Last of Us, I'm like, wow, this is fucking really cool you know they're they're not giving a shit about what people are gonna say because you know there's there's a lot of bro dudes out there that probably play like uncharted and and that also played the last of us that might be turned off because they're fucking closed-minded or shitheads that it's you know that you're one playing a female and two that she's gay or whatever so financially it's a risk for them to even do this but the fact that they did that I thought that was cool. You know, that's how it should be. Like, if that's the story you want to tell, who gives a shit, you know, what sexual orientation they are or what gender they are? Like, write a story about whatever character that you want and tell your story. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. 
They can be whatever you want them to be. So just tell your story. Naughty Dog likes to kill Ellie's girlfriends. Deal with it. <laughs> well, speak your stories. <laughs> Jazz, how was your week? Oh, my week was eventful. Oh boy. Sounds like a very good one. I don't know if that's sarcasm or not. <laughs> no, it, it was like... It was not in such a good... It's, it's kind of... Do you want me to tell you the story? Yeah. Story time. Okay, so this is a story all about how... Oh, shit! Flip. <laughs> but it... <laughs> I, had I had to. Okay. I feel betrayed. But, but for real, though, um, my plumbing exploded or did something and fucked up everything. We couldn't use our bathroom. And then they got it fixed. And then the next day, it happened again. Did anything get damaged? <laughs> the <laughs> apparently the tenant downstairs uh it leaked in her closet <gasps> that's just like it's it's all like her costumes because she's a dancer oh she was really no. pissed off and she lost like so we, we were i mean it's not nice and i, I don't, hope i never meet her but we were making <laughs> joke that like we literally shit all over her dreams <laughs> oh my god <laughs> but it wasn't Damn. us it was like the plumbing from everywhere got blocked and per, uh, burst a pipe like right behind our bathtub so it was coming into our bathtub yeah like, we were just that unfortunate unit so i've had we're, that happen to me too the worst though this it was my kitchen sink been. and that fucking sucked oh uh, no because that's where food goes mm -hmm. it smelled real bad it smelled gross <laughs> yeah it was not a good time uh, but on a more positive note, I played some games, got ahead in Rise of the Tomb Raider, trying to get that platinum, but it's going to take me a lot longer than a week. Platinum, platinum, ma'am. It's going to take me a lot more than a week, like I thought I could do. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but hey, we finished Desperate Escape, so. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It was so hard. So, <laughs> the key is to not actually do anything, just fucking run. <laughs> The key is to give up. Yeah, give up a couple times. That's how I beat Hunk on uh, that Resident Evil 2 mode or whatever. By giving up? <laughs> no, by just running. By oh, well, yeah, somebody. that's kind of the name of the game. Run. You just got to run. Get the fuck <laughs> out. Did yeah, you do the uh, tofu stuff? I did. I beat tofu once, and then oh. I didn't try it again. Yeah, there's like 10 levels of tofu, and it's a fucking nightmare. 10 levels yeah, of tofu. <laughs> that sounds like it's a like great a vegan restaurant. <laughs> it's the sequel to uh, 50 Shades of Grey? 30 Shades yeah. of Grey? I can't remember. 10, of tofu. So, 10, 10 Shades of Grey? I don't know. And then he ate meat, so he was naughty. <laughs> oh! Squish, squish. That's Go. that fan fiction. You'll have to look it up. Wow. It's a Leon X Tofu fanfiction. <laughs> what else, Jazz? <laughs> That's it. I didn't do much of anything this week. Other than shit on people's dreams. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. Alec, am I to understand that you had a week? Yeah. It's funny. I had seven days and everything. But, uh, wow. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I played Minecraft and Resident Evil 5 with Jazz. Oh look, Indeed. everybody's playing with their low jazz. Losers. Yeah. What? <laughs> wow. Even a bathroom. <laughs> I played uh, a bit more of Resi Evil Revelations 2. I played a new game. Oh, actually, tell a lie. I played two new games. I played Kona, which is a VR compatible PS4 game that follows. Carl, a private detective in 1970s Canada. What? Yeah. That sounds dope. It's, Interesting. Uh, on, it's uh, £3.99 in my whatever land I'm currently living in. Um, but yeah, it's on sale on, on PlayStation, so maybe you should investigate. Oh, uh, investigate? Um, oh, I see what you did there. Um. I also played. Is there Tekken. a trophy for thanking everybody that you come across? Well, it is Thanksgiving. Ah, thanks, partner. Thanks. We don't celebrate thanks. We just give it. <laughs> but only one. Wow. Year. We give it. Take yeah. it. Take, Take my it. thanks. 
you fuck. <laughs> uh, right. I uh, also played Tepin. <gasps> I do not understand it whatsoever. ever. You, yeah, it's complicated. <laughs> Very. Yeah, once you get comfortable with it, we should battle. Oh, okay. I'll, okay, let's Tepin. Tepin. Um, I uh, I drove all night just to get to you. Is that all right? <laughs> Teppin uh, is like I'll... becoming a big thing, by the way. Like Amazon is sponsoring a tournament for Teppin. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, I don't give a shit about Amazon. What? <laughs> <laughs> and I uh, also watched South Park for the first time in my for life. the first time for the first time ever. Yeah, I watched the movie, and that was way, you know. The thing is, my parents said you're not allowed to watch South Park. You can watch other things, but not South Park. So, yeah, I started watching So you started with on. the movie. Yeah. I mean, good, though. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a pretty good movie. Yeah, a lot better than Simpsons movie. What? Mm. Uh, <laughs> I mean. It's true. Right. It doesn't mean the Simpsons movie is bad. It's just bad. No, you're right. The South Park movie has a lot more like one-liners and good songs. <laughs> the South Park mm. movie sticks to one singular storyline and isn't completely all over the place. Wow. Uh, Heard some yeah. shots fired there. Yeah. Oh, no, I like the Simpsons movie. I just feel like it's just it was too much. Yeah. Anyway, that's my week. Cody, how was your week? My week was pretty good. Uh, last weekend, I had a Devil's Weekend Festival, so I performed there for two nights and got completely fucking hammered on night one. I was at a 9 out of 10, and I was on the tipping point of 10, which was blackout drunk. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> so that, was a, that was a first. I almost blacked out for the first time. Like I walked up to... A place to get food, and next thing I knew, I had the food, but I don't remember making the food. And I was Ooh, like, this isn't good. That's scary. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so that was neat. I played a few new games. Uh, well, I don't want to say it was the first time playing Soul Calibur VI, because I played it in, at a convention. So, like, on an arcade cabinet, and I whooped a bunch of ass up until the end where this chick... It was the last game of the night, and this chick just sat down and fucking mopped the floor with me. <laughs> that sucks. So, like, you win all night, and then your last match, you get fucking destroyed. <laughs> I was kind of happy that about sucks. it, because I was just like, oh, okay, there's someone fucking, you know, pretty good at this. And it was like a really close match. Like, we came to, like, centimeters of health left for each of us before she fucking destroyed me. But it's, uh, yeah, so I played Soul Calibur Six. I went back to Conan on the Xbox, and I've been playing that with my friends, and we're... Oh, it's so good. I love Conan. I tested Atlas. It just launched on Xbox in Game Preview. Just like Ark, but with pirates, and not as advanced as Ark it is currently. And World War Z, which I'm playing right now, but I'm going to switch to Conan because I need to check on our pets. <laughs> World War Z is like Left 4 Dead 3. Yeah, I heard that a lot. It's exactly like it, except way cooler, to be honest. Like, I love Left 4 Dead. Left 4 Dead's, like, it's fantastic. It's a fantastic game, 1 and 2. But, like, this one, I just love the... It's got, like, that Days Gone-esque zombie swarm system. Like, Left 4 Dead, you fight a few hundred zombies, maybe, at a time. This one is just, like, we're gonna throw, like, 2,000 zombies at you. So, like, don't try and save ammo. Just spray, even when they're not, like, at you yet. Kill as many as you can before they can even, like, get to the building you're in. Because that'll help a lot. Isn't it, uh, third person, though? Yeah, it's third person. Oh, okay, yeah. It's just, like, it's crazy. Like, Left 4 Dead has four characters. And what is it, four levels per campaign? Something like that. This one has, like, it has the four campaigns, but there's only three levels each, but each campaign has four different characters. So I'm like, okay, there's a ton of variety. Hmm. And I guess they're coming out with a horde mode soon, so that's going to be fun. 
Yeah, I, I've been waiting for it to go down to like 20 bucks, and then I'm going to pick it up. I'm just playing it off Game Pass because, you know. You bastard. <laughs> That's fair. It's fine. Me. Super fun. Um, so other than my weekend and those games, I haven't been doing too much. And I'll, and I'll get through that reason why after the podcast because I don't want to be a Debbie Downer. Oh, no. Not that anything bad happened in my life. It's just mental illness stuff. And I don't want to I don't want to be that guy right now. Fair enough. Hey, Sean, How was your week, was your... Sean? Uh, hello. Hello. My week. Uh, let's see. I I watched some things. I finished season five of The Flash. Uh, I'm almost done with season 14 of Supernatural. Fucking season 14, you guys. 14. That's insane. That's more episodes than Duel. Not why. Wow. <laughs> sorry. <sighs> it's the number 14. It triggered me. I'm sorry. I hate you. It's better, though. What? Duel's better. I was going to say, why are you being so mean to me? You said it backwards. How dare you? Do was not cool enough without the Winchesters. <laughs> <laughs> well, you haven't seen episode 13. Maybe they're there. You don't know. That's why it's taking so long. <laughs> yeah. Saving up the money to get the Winchesters to do voice Yeah, acting. it's expensive. <laughs> 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 but yeah, this shit's crazy, man. Like, not many shows last 14 seasons outside of, like, a fucking soap opera. It's crazy. It's crazy. And that... It, it really should have ended at, like, season... I want to, God, I can't remember. They all bleed together, but I think like season four or five, <laughs> but yeah, it's still fine. It's, it, I enjoy it. it. It's okay. Um, yeah, these, uh, last few weeks I've just, uh, God, they've, they've just gone by so fast. Like I fucking, it feels like I work a day and then it's Friday and it's like, oh shit, I haven't even gotten ready for the podcast. So I don't know what the hell is happening to time, but it's just going away and I don't like it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, if this podcast posts when it should post, <laughs> then that means it's already fucking October 14th. That's insane. Half the month gone and I haven't gotten shit done, but that's for later. It's just crazy that, I mean, fuck. <laughs> This is why I wanted to get shit done in September, but Jesus Christ, it's just like time. It it doesn't exist for me anymore. There but, uh, September. yeah, cl no, it feels like there was a September. There's just no October. And I don't like it because, you know, plans and stuff. But, uh, yeah, uh, like Jazz says, played some Resident Evil 5. We finally beat the Desperate Escape on Professional. Yeah. We died like, what? fucking 10 or 15 times at the very first fucking we did it area in that first run i don't know what liar <laughs> well it was just dumb like i think it was just it wasn't even our fault because like the the way that things spawn like it's random like sometimes you have to defeat a difficult enemy to get a key to progress sometimes it's just laying there for you to pick up sometimes you get herbs sometimes you don't sometimes you get ammo sometimes you don't Sometimes you get a good gun, sometimes you don't. So, like, you never know. And we were just getting really bad luck. And then we fucking... I hosted, I guess, is when it turned around, I think, right? That's when we started getting, like, the herbs and shit spawned. But anyway, after 10 or 15 tries, we finally fucking got through the first part. And then immediately one-shotted to the end. Like, first try, got all the way to the end. And then we died once at the end and then beat it. Like, that's fucking impressive i am proud of us okay that shit was hard but we did it it was great good yeah. good good job go go team okay. uh jazz alec and i played a little bit of dead by daylight it's safe to say that freddy and ghostface are still complete fucking garbage uh what's weird though is that uh like normally they do a halloween theme and I guess they're not doing that this year. Like, they had a DLC pack or whatever. If you want to spend money and get costumes, you can do that. But that's bullshit. Fuck that. But, like, normally they decorate, like, the lobby with pumpkins and shit. And, like, when you're going through the blood web, there's, like, themed, like, content that you can get in there and stuff. I didn't see any of that. I guess they're getting lazy. 
<laughs> yeah, they're, they're busy working on other types of DLC that they don't have time to make a theme the for this Christmas year. DLC. I guess. It, I mean, you should put Krampus in that game for Christmas. worst. I know, right? That'd be cool. But it just seems like worst case, just recycle the shit you did last year instead of just not doing anything. It just because people expect that, you know what I mean? I don't know. It just seemed kind of disappointing to not see. Nazi. Yeah, Nazi. Nazi. I think the best uh, Christmas DLC that they could put would be Robot Santa. <laughs> Futurama. He could be flying around in his sleigh. I don't get your Futurama jokes because I haven't well, seen most of watch it. Watch it. Don't tell it's me how to live my best life. Animated shows, if not the best animated show ever to exist. I guess. Like when that came out or when I start when I tried to watch it or whatever, like I had seen so much Simpsons and it gave me Simpsons vibe and I was already burned out on that, so like I just I couldn't way better. It was just, I, I know, but it looks similar, like the art style's like almost the fucking same. I don't know. Well, it's the same with Disenchantment. Like I, I like the Simpsons, but I I thought that they were like going a little too much and then I watched Futurama and I fucking like fell in love with it. And I was worried that this enchantment would just like bring me back down to the Simpsons, but it was so fucking good. So like I, I feel like they're, they're all different, but the humor is the same. So it's kind of cool. Yeah, I'm sure I'll like it. It's like Rick and Morty. Like I heard, oh, it's awesome and stuff, but I just had no interest in seeing it until one day. You know, I think Shayla is the one that made me watch it, and of course I fucking loved it. <laughs> so I just need to give it a chance, I guess. I think the new season starts soon. Oh, mm -hmm. can't wait. Um, I also played a shit ton of Spider-Man on PS4. Uh, I'm about 50% into completing that entire game, including the Platinum Trophy. And I'm playing on the hardest difficulty, so that's... Eh. It's actually not too bad, honestly. As far as like difficult games go, it's not, it's not too bad. Um, but yeah, fuck, that game is incredible. So good. Uh, even the I thought that the stealth missions were actually pretty good too. Like that was the one thing that people complained about from what I've seen is like oh the the stealth missions like destroy the flow of the game or whatever. But it's nice. It kind of mixes things up a little bit. I like it. It's good. Um oh, and my Xbox 1 is starting to not recognize its disk drive, which feels like a fucking personal attack. <laughs> like what the fuck? Sometimes the console that turned itself on anyway. It is. Ears bugging out. But it has a fucking disk drive, and when I go to open it, sometimes or like when I try to play what's in the disk drive, sometimes it'll say there's no disk drive, and I'm just That's like, weird. fucking what? <laughs> I know what it is. Why? Why are you attacking me, Microsoft? Good. What the fuck? <laughs> I know what it is. What your Xbox is saying. Go digital. Yeah. No. It's turning, it's turning I don't give a <laughs> shit what it says. It's turning on you. It is. Oxygen. It's turning on me. Oh, fuck. Oh, wow, the sorry, timing was sorry. terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, missed opportunity. I'm, I'm just glad both of mine still work or else I wouldn't be playing Soul Calibur. I guess it's good that I switched over to PS4 when I did. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> It's time for some news! <laughs> what is happening over there? My phone scared the shit out of me and I'm still laughing. <laughs> I thought you did that intentionally. No, it was my phone, my ringtone. I just heard that. I was like, what the fuck was that? And then I hear the... <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were trying to time it with what was going on. No, oh. it was legit. Somebody called me right when you are talking about your Xbox. Wow. <laughs> 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 All right, news time, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Annette Birkin may have been unofficially confirmed as a playable mastermind in uh, Project Resistance. Yeah, it has been reported that during the closed beta, some players experienced a glitch that showed Annette as the chosen mastermind character during the loading screen. 
Uh, though there ha there is no hard sources to back this, it's just reports on the internet. So it's purely speculation, but you never know. Uh, given the fact that the game uses the same engine and models from Resident Evil 2 Remake, it'd be a fairly obvious choice to do that, honestly, if they are going to allow you to choose different masterminds. I mean, why the fuck not throw her in there? But uh, I'm hoping if they do do that, like, do. I hope that each mastermind has, like, a, a boss character, like... The default one you can play as Mr. X or whatever. So maybe if they did like Annette, maybe you could play as William Birkin or something like that. That'd be really cool. But I'm sure I'm giving them way too much credit and they're going to do nothing even remotely similar to that. But okay. we can hope. You never maybe know. They put, they put Annette as a trap. <laughs> what? You just put her on the floor and she complains or something? Oh, no, that's Ashley. Fuck. Wrong blonde. No, it's because she's Wrong on blonde. <laughs> Wrong bitch. <laughs> Wrong bitch. She'll just get hit by a ceiling and die. Cool. <laughs> wow. It's her weakness. <laughs> <It's> really... <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's everyone's weakness. <laughs> you don't know. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You don't know. <laughs> you don't know. Uh, Resident Evil gets another VR arcade game exclusive to Japan. Yay. Yay. A few months back, we got word of Biohazard Valiant Raid as a Japanese arcade exclusive VR experience with no plans of a US release. And now Capcom has announced a prequel to RE7, Biohazard 7, Walking, or Walk Through the Fear. Walking Phoenix. Walk Through the Fear, that's... <laughs> <laughs> walking no. Oh God. Biohazard, Walking Phoenix. It's like two seconds that sound, that sounds even more terrifying. <laughs> Uh, the game will again be in VR and feature multiplayer co-op. You play as a group of survivors inside the Baker's basement. The goal, this is for Diz, apparently. <laughs> the goal will be to outlast the clock while facing off against the Molded and Jack Baker himself. It sounds like this will be an extension of the Nightmare Mode, which was released as DLC for RE7. And again, no plans for a US release. More Resident Evil shit that I can't fucking play. Baker's. Bakers, Can't fucking walking phoenix. God Baker. damn it! Choosers. I'm not upset that I won't be able to play that, or just like. Yeah, I know you guys don't give a shit about Resident Evil Seven, but I do, and I want to play Evil it. Seven, fuck you guys. <laughs> <It's my favorite laughs> game. Seven wow. was phenomenal. It was really like, good. Once you got to the boat, then it just kind of took a big fucking dip. Huh. Uh, in the ocean. In the water. <laughs> Under the sea. <laughs> Under the sea. I'm top of the sea. That game. Wow. Well, you only played it for like 30 seconds, so get the fuck out of here. No, I got, pretty, <laughs> I got far. How far is far? 80 hours? <laughs> uh, uh, the, the, the bitch turned into a spider, seconds. and I was like, nah, bro. Uh, wow. That was about, what, the halfway point? Uh, there you go. I still have never met Zoe. I have no fucking clue who Zoe yeah, is. Yeah, it's close, I guess. Didn't see the bitch on the phone? Yeah. Yeah, the I, bitch I, I, on the phone. <laughs> yeah. I ran into her or anything. It was the bitch on the phone and the bitch in the red dress. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Konami has revealed the next Silent Hill game, and it's mm. a pocket slot machine. Pretty yeah. <sighs> <laughs> in August, Konami filed a trademark for Silent Hill in Canada, which sparked a glimmer of hope for the franchise. But deep in our hearts, we knew this would end up to be another fucking either pachinko machine or pocky slot. And here we are. It's exactly what we thought it would be. I remember you saying about this before, and I'm just like, yeah, we can. We now can blame Canada. <laughs> yep, we can do it. I think it's pretty safe to say that at this point, Silent Hill's fucking dead. <laughs> it's over. It's silent. Maybe we'll say, oh, wow. Maybe we'll see it in like 10 years resurface or something, but I think it's dead and gone for a while. And that makes me sad. HD collection too. Yeah, no. Except no. this time done right, hopefully. I don't think they know how. <laughs> I was well, watching the... a video called What Happened, which is a series that I love. It's W-A-H, Happen, What Happened. And uh, they cover, or I say they, it's uh, Matt McMuscles. He covers games that are en terrible and he like tells you about their development cycle and why they are the way they are and they he just put one out the other day on the hd collection and i watched it 
Yeah. A big part of it's just they don't have the source code. They like the builds that they do have existing are like broken buggy versions, so there's nothing like they essentially have to recreate a lot of the assets in the game to make it work. And then there's just the whole issue with some of the voice acting or some of the voice actors and stuff. There's just so many issues with that thing for them to actually do a legitimate worthy remake. I just don't think they'd be invested enough to spend that money, the money and time that it would take to really do that. They could, cause we know they have the money, but they won't. Yeah. Because that's just not what they're focused on. You know, they don't give a shit about console gaming. They don't give a shit about Silent Hill. So, like, why would they dump a bunch of money into it? It sucks. Makes me sad. As a shock to absolutely nobody, Sony confirms the PlayStation 5 will be called PlayStation 5. <gasps> no, I they were going was expecting what? PlayStation 5. Six. I know, I thought they were going to skip to 6. Maybe even 8. Uh, Sony gave us some more non-information in the form of uh, confirming a 2020 holiday release date. Again, something we fucking pretty much already knew. Oh, and they laid off a shit ton of staff and they're having internal struggles. That too. But Yeah, of know. course. <laughs> That's every fucking company they're these days, Facebook. it seems like. <laughs> yeah, no more Facebook. <laughs> that was a video I seen yesterday where it's just fucking, they're just like, Sony announces PlayStation 5 news to cover massive layoffs and internal struggle inside company. I'm like, okay. Yep. And uh, what's his ass? Uh, Sean Layden, he left. What's like, his ass? just out of the blue, just gone. Oh, I suppose he's been laid off. Probably. But, like, nobody's talking about it. It's just, like, some fucking well, that's secret. because they released... Oh, here's their release date and some info for you to keep everybody from fucking talking about it yep it seems like all these fucking big wigs are dipping out like just before we go into the next console generation which is not really reassuring <laughs> mm. so what do people think about the look of the ps5 well that's not the final design it's just a dev, yeah, kit. That's a dev kit and i think it looks fucking awful <clears throat> i love those dumb designs yeah i mean <laughs> I like that they're silly and not typically what you get, but that's not what I would want, <laughs> personally. I kind of liked the look of it, because it, it was like every PlayStation kind of looked the same after PS2, and then just like, yeah, and then 5, it kind of came with a V, and I was like, yeah, I can get into that. Yeah, I mean, I wish they would do something more than what you typically get with a console. You know, they're, t you know, they look pretty generic typically. It'd be nice to see something a little bit different, but some in somewhere while. in between the two. You know, something that's a little bit outside the box, but nothing like fucking super crazy, like a fucking boomerang or a, a ball or something. <laughs> we don't need that. Yeah, just make it round, and it just fucking rolls around, and you have to catch it when you want to put a disc in it or something. The play sphere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, it has a V on it. A v uh, why are you, what? Is that what Alex said? It's like U-shaped, kind of. V. Is Boomerang it? Boomerang is what I think you described it as. Uh, okay. No, that's what Sean described it as. Oh, was it? Okay, I, see, I heard someone say boomerang. They they like their Sony boomerangs. You know, we saw the controller, and now they're implementing it into their system. It makes sense. But that was the Sony banana controller. Ban banana? It's a boomerang. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Bye! <laughs> Go in! Bye! Boomerang-a-nana. Six! boomerang a uh, along with the release date and title, Sony also gave us a few more details on the console itself. The console hardware will have an 8-core, 16-thread, 8664AMD Ryzen Zen 2 CPU. The processor is equal to a mid-tier PC processor in the Ryzen line. So that's it's better than the PS4, but it's not really great. <laughs> and the memory space... <laughs> I'm sure it's just going to be a terabyte, but they haven't confirmed that 500 yet. 500 gigs, fuck yeah. you. No. 32 <laughs> megabytes. Go. Let's go. <laughs> Top of the line. Hell yeah. Buy a memory card. Yeah, <laughs> buy many memory cards. Yeah, it doesn't come with any memory. <laughs> yeah, of course not. That'd be so bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the PS5 controller will feature haptic feedback. 
This is a feature that the Nintendo Switch currently has, which offers more detailed and reactive rumble. For example, traveling through different terrains, such as grass or mud, will feel different. Um, will feel, feel different from each other based on the amount of rumble you feel while you're passing through it. So like if you're going through mud, it's going to give you more feedback than if you're going through something lighter like grass or something like that, which is fucking, I mean, what? who gives I'm a shit? i like, this isn't new technology. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And why, why is this the focus? Who gives a shit? I mean, that's a, it's a neat little thing but fuck you can do all that with the fucking rumbles we have now it's just up to the devs on how good they want to make it feel i mean honestly i don't even really give a shit if my controller rumbles at all or not like it's fine but who cares i like the feedback but yeah like this isn't fucking new like yeah it's just they talk about it like it's oh it's so groundbreaking and amazing it's gonna change gaming forever (laughs) but you're wrong (laughs) uh power The controller will also feature USB-C charging and offer a longer battery life. So longer battery life is nice because the PS4 battery life is fucking garbage. Yeah, I'll just keep the wire in all the time now. Yeah, it just does not last long at all. Yeah, I've I've switched to wired more recently. I can't fucking do wireless anymore. I'm so (laughs) sick of it. That's so annoying. Uh, PS5 games will come on 100 gigabyte Blu-ray discs and the system will include a built-in 4K Blu-ray optical drive. Game installs will still be mandatory because Mm -hmm. of the difference in speed between the console's solid-state drive and the disk drive. However, installations will now be more customizable. Players could choose just to install a multiplayer mode or allow you to delete a campaign portion once you've finished it to free up space for other games. That is Uh, fucking stupid. I was about to say, is that a thing Xbox already has? Hmm? Yeah, you could do that on Xbox with certain games already. Yeah. Uh, well, can you? I mean, I know yeah, it installs a, a portion. Uh, well, that's the only game that I've ever seen that does that. Well, every time I install something, they ask me what I want to install. Hmm. They're like, do you want this and this? And I'm just like, pick and choose or install all. And I'm, I always hit install all because mm-hmm. why wouldn't I want everything? Yeah, I mean, I guess it's like if you wanted to play the multiplayer first, you can choose to install that first or whatever. But I mean, who gives a shit? You're going to install the whole thing anyway, so fucking who cares? But the the more bizarre thing to me is the fact that like you can delete increments of the game so it's like oh i beat campaign levels one through five let me just delete those what save space for Who? other games if you just but like that's it. fucking like, stupid why players that don't play a campaign and strictly do multiplayer you install exactly. multiplayer only and then you save a shit ton of space for you know other games that you want to install but like that's just an annoying thing to even have to fucking think about it's like oh well i guess i don't need these chapters of the campaign i guess i'll go in and delete those what well, saves like, who... time on installing the game and it saves space yeah so that's like two pros to like no cons i mean this is what i you know me and you me jazz and sean were playing the game earlier and then they were like oh you should install shoesting again i was like okay it's like, I'm like <laughs> fucking how much gigabyte <laughs> jesus <laughs> fucking christ well, you know, if they put all that information on the disc and just made it read off the disc, it wouldn't fucking matter. Yeah. <laughs> so there's that. <laughs> it's just... <sighs> my problem with this is, like, sure, I guess throw that in there. It's fine. It's a, a feature. Like, I think it's fucking worthless. And But, I mean, there's people out there that will use it or whatever. Me. But... <laughs> Like, why are we focusing on some stupid shit like that and fucking haptic feedback rumble? Like, all like the they're focusing on all these fucking insignificant things where it's like, what are the fucking games going to look like? Like, they're just not focusing on things that seem to really matter when you're looking at spending, you know, four or five, six hundred dollars on a new console. Like, these are insignificant things. And the fact that they, they keep bringing up more and more of these things that are pretty much irrelevant makes me just more and more concerned and less interested in, in the quality of what the console is going to be. Like, this is really the best you could come up with? These are the things that you're talking about? <laughs> okay. But yeah. I'd say just get the console when 
there's a specific game you actually want to play. Yeah, I'm sure that's going to be the case. Uh, yeah, Resident Evil, you mean? <laughs> no. But it just sucks, because, like, I, I normally... Just for Halo, mainly. Normally, there's a next-gen console that I'll be like, okay, well, I'll buy this one at launch, and then I'll get the other one when a game comes out that's exclusive to that. Basically, again, Resident Evil, typically. Yep. But at this point, I just... There's nothing that's really making me want to buy a next-gen console. And that's really disappointing. <laughs> Usually it's an exciting time and it's like, oh, get ready for the next generation, you know, hype, excitement. It's just not there for me. There's just no no appeal. I think it's just because we're getting older, Sean. But yeah, I, there, I still like video games as much as I ever have. I still buy them all the time. The interest is still there. It just, it doesn't, just the features and the focus, just, I don't understand why people like them. I'm just going to get it because it's a higher model than what I probably like. It's going to be a different console. Yeah. But my, my thing is like backwards compatibility. I'm going to get that. So my games load faster, run better on every game. Plus, you know, the newer games doing the same thing. Yeah. I do have to envy that's Xbox is done well on there. It's like backwards capacity. I wish the PS4 could play better you know backwards rather than just going through playstation now i mean fuck's sake <laughs> yeah <clears throat> so at least i'll get the not have to rebuy all my games but i could buy the xbox yeah. scarlet edition of this no nope, it's gonna have all my shit and it's gonna transfer over and i'm gonna be happy well it sounds like playstation is gonna be doing the same thing more or less so I mean, like all your PS4 games will play on PS5, and eventually they'll probably do on some level like PS3 to a limited capacity or whatever, depending on demand. But I, I don't, don't know, know if it's fact or not, because usually I only deliver the facts. But I've heard rumors that the PlayStation 4 is going to be fully backwards compatible with every PlayStation's library. But I don't know how like true mm. that is. Yeah, That's I never heard that. Work. The only thing that I heard for sure is PS4 is 100% backwards compatible. But, I mean, if you're looking at a console that's just a slight upgrade, I mean, it fucking better be. <laughs> <clears throat> but, yeah, just all, all in all, it just it really isn't spectacular, in my opinion. You know, for a system that's likely going to cost around $500, give or take, you know, we're just seeing slight hardware upgrades in line with mid-grade PCs, you know, like I said, the upgraded controller rumble, 8K resolution, which, I mean, fucking who cares? Ray tracing right, is interesting yeah. from what I hear. Like, I, I don't know much about ray tracing, but from what I heard, like, it, like it's a lighting engine that makes things look really incredible. So, I mean, that'll be cool to see what they can do with that. It's real-time light reflection is what it is. Yeah. So. But I, I haven't really seen it when. in action, so like I don't really know what that looks like. So I'm curious to see what that is. That's like one thing that I'm interested in seeing. Faster loading times is another thing that is nice, but again, it's just one of those small quality of life things that is cool, but it's just not it's not a selling point really. But yeah, I I, and, at no loading screens way back in the day. <laughs> And that was one of the later NPS two games, and then we went to the next generation and we got loading screens again. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that'll like, happen again. <laughs> that game and advertising no loading screens. It, it was the next generation to give us back loading screens. That sucked. It was just a test. <laughs> this is only a test. But yeah, I just I I want to see more on the graphics. You know, I I'd like to see. You know, we talked about that before. Like that's always like a focus when you get a new system, seeing the new nice shiny graphics. And that's just not there, at least not so far. And judging by the specs that they've revealed, they're probably not going to be there. You know, things will look slightly better, but not a lot. And then you have things like having a 4K Blu-ray optical drive on a system that runs 8K graphics. What the fuck is that? That doesn't even make sense. It really doesn't. And just 8K in general, like my understanding is like we can't even perceive that resolution. Like we can't. We're not even going to be able to fucking see what it's doing. So why even have it? Yeah, it's ugh. <laughs> like I these consoles are just weird rate <laughs> because I'll take the higher frame rate over the uh, what do you call it? The 8K or whatever, because we can see uh, around the 200 ish range before it starts to make like no difference to us. 
but like the 4k and whatnot that's already pushing it for like human eyesight yeah it's just a big number that they can throw around and most people are like oh 8k whoa they don't even know what the fuck it means through a window (laughs) i'm waiting for 24k yeah gold (laughs) 24 karat gold k graphics I'm still waiting whatever. to see the graphics in color. Where? <laughs> <laughs> uh, AK. Stupid. Does anybody? Well, I know Cody. You're gonna get Scarlet or whatever. But does anybody else plan on getting an, a next gen system? No. Are any of these amazing features something that you guys are excited about? No. I would. I would just only get it if there's a specific game I want to play. Metal Gear. That's it. No, that, to me, that's dead. Metal Gear's dead. Oh, to me. It's so sad. I said that about PS4. <laughs> and here we are, still waiting for fucking Last of Us 2. <laughs> yep, at the end of the life of the PS4, it's coming yeah, out. Yeah, it's like, here's the game. And you box. fucking know that it's going to be Grand Theft Auto 5 all over again. It's like, oh no, it's not going to be on PS5. No, no, it's just PS4. Fucking three, four months down the road. Sure as shit. Last of Us Part 2 fucking HD or whatever. It's already HD. I know. That hasn't stopped them before. It's the the AK edition. Mm Mm-hmm. Something. You can see every fucking follicle and hair on their foreskin. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, no. There's a fingerprint on this one. You can watch this bitch get fridged and fucking... (laughs) 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 <laughs> oh no <laughs> the more we say fridged I just think of that fucking kid in Fallout 4 oh god all I think of he got fridged you can first. see the veins in Jill's ass <laughs> oh my god <laughs> ah, exciting times <laughs> anybody else have news <laughs> Um, Anybody get fridge lately? Yes. Good. <laughs> I frequently get died. I get died. Wow. I get died. <laughs> I get I died all the get time. To advance the plot of other shit. Yeah, great. I figured as much. Great. We play games together, and you get shot. I like to scream your name and seek vengeance <laughs> for the sake of vengeance. Your death powers <laughs> me up. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm usually the one who kills people. Meh. <laughs> <laughs> Sean. Wow. I'm like, don't go over there. I'm throwing grenades. And like, I wait till you get over there and then I throw a fucking incendiary. Yeah, and grenade. then I wonder why I'm on fire. <laughs> and then I'm just like, I'm sorry. Thanks. 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 Speaking of grenades, you uh, got to send me that Halo footage. Yes, yes. I know. You never reminded me. I, I was. I was. You reminded oh, me God. too early and then I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> But yes, yes. I never reminded you once, like two days before I was supposed to remind you. Yeah, Monday. Remind me Monday, because Monday is my day off and I can get shit done. So remind me on Monday. Help me. Reminder. Upload it while you're at work. What? Yeah. I'll try. But drag and drop the file, (laughs) then leave for work. And by the time you come home, it should be uploaded and ready to send. You make it sound like it's so easy, but it's not. It's not. You don't understand. <laughs> uh, hey, hey, guess what? Hey, hey, Jess. Hey, 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 hey what'd you do? It's it's game time with little old Jess. <laughs> now, I only have one game prepared today. Uh, Slacker. So, yeah, here's, and I wrote it down properly this time. Here's a what's that hell's making that quote. <gasps> She did it. You should have heard yesterday. I was getting it ready and I was writing it down. And Alec is there like saying word per word with me. <laughs> and then I wrote from. And then I'm like, oh, <laughs> wait, no. <laughs> I scribbled out the from. <laughs> so it's it's all Alec. He saved me. It's and, your and game. How do you not know what it's called? Because <laughs> <laughs> I've changed the name three times until I decided. And it's based off of a joke that you wrote. I, I <laughs> you know, Andrew wrote that. And that was his typo. It wasn't even a joke. It was a typo that he was was like. It was in something that you co-wrote. There you go. Uh, I was drunk too, so you know. (laughs) 
So Alec, to repay you for saving uh, the title, you get to mm -hmm. go first. Oh wow! <laughs> get <laughs> fucked. <laughs> Are you ready? Thanks for, for helping book? me out. Fuck you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready to get fucked. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. For Alec, here we go. I think we ought to get out of here now. I don't know exactly what's going on, but I don't think it's safe. Minecraft. <laughs> Some Tomb Raider idiot. Oh, shit. I'm going to say Resident Evil 3. That's your final answer? Well, I could say pass, but I'm gonna say Resident Evil 3. Yeah, you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, oh, there goes my cap. It's uh, Code Veronica. <laughs> it's oh. Christy Claire. Yeah. In my oh, head, I nice was thinking one. Christy Claire. In what? And I was thinking one in my head for some reason. I was like, is that some Barry would say? I don't know what the fuck's <laughs> going on, but I'm gonna get out of here. <laughs> it's uh, sounds it's, like it's Steve. Chris Claire, when he gets to Rock, gets to Rockford, and uh, he's like, I don't know what the fuck happened here, but we should go. See, yeah. I was thinking Jill and or, Dario. Uh, sorry, Antarctica. Jill and Dario. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I'm gonna go in here. <laughs> Dario's Creek. I'm gonna go eat my nachos in the van. Hope there's no zombies in there. <laughs> so good job, Alec. Yay, you lost my point. Yay. All right, Alec, who goes next? Don't you mute yourself. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you run away from me. Uh, let's give it to Cody. Look into my ears when I'm talking to you. Jeez. Whoa. Cody. Hi. Are you ready? Hi. <laughs> Are you ready for your quote? No. Can't this. <laughs> give it to me tomorrow. I will be here. Can you fax it, it to me? You, you can answer it tomorrow. All right, so here's your quote. This isn't 20 questions. I'm taking you out of here. Turn around and face the wall. Bitch. The bitch isn't part of it, but... Yeah. Okay. But it could be. This isn't 20 questions. Two. That's your final answer? Yeah. Nope. It's from, code, uh, from zero, code. Code zero? Oh, I, was, I was writing his name. <laughs> I was like, damn, code. is somebody talking to Sherry like that? <laughs> Oh no! Against the wall, bitch. No, you're going is, to jail, uh, little girl. I thought it was Police Buddha. Chief Irons to Sherry for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, that's the remake. That would have been creepy because at, right before that, <laughs> Rebecca tells Billy, "Keep your handcuffs. Or put your handcuffs back on." <laughs> so if that was Irons to Sherry, I I would quit Resident Evil right there. <laughs> right there. No, you'd quit SD Perry. STD Perry. I mean. Uh, yeah, quit maybe. China. Quit China. Yeah, quit China. Hashtag quit China. Quit China. Sean. Hello. You're the last one. I'm Man. scared. You should be. Mm. All right. Here's your quote. I should go up first. How about you climb up right behind and stay on the ladder until I say it's clear? Wow. <laughs> Read. <laughs> Read? Do you want me Reading to read that again? hard. Yeah. I can't read my own writing. I, I can't read show. either. I can't read my own scripts. <laughs> exactly. Someone stop me because I can't read. <laughs> All right. Here it is again. I should go up first. How about you climb up right behind and stay on the ladder until I say it's clear? There we go. Resident Evil. Wait. Resident Evil 1. <laughs> Are you... Is that your final answer? Yeah. <laughs> no. Fuck! I thought wow. maybe that was Barry and Jill. Oh, it's Claire and Sherry. Son of a bitch. I figured you were going to get that one, because I'm like, you know, that's his jam. They're in the sewers, and she's bossing somebody around like a kid. You give me too it's much like credit. Barry does to Jill. I know I do. What? You know what? It could have been tougher, because every fucking book I picked up yesterday, every time I opened it, the first word I saw was shit. Everyone just says <laughs> shit all the time. Good. I wrote those books, okay? Yeah, you did. Wow, I'm a terrible writer. Yeah. What? <laughs> that's the that's the what's that hell's making that quote. <laughs> Alec. Yes. Does your ass have a game? He does. I, I heard and there's some. In order to play this game. We need to climb some bitches. 
And now it's time for everyone's least favorite game, Bitches and Letters! I don't know why you did I don't know, I'm sorry. Okay. What are, um, if we're climbing the bitches, what are we doing to the ladders? You don't want to Just, know. We're leaving the ladders alone. Good. Uh, yeah. Okay, <clears throat> Sean. Hello. Your character name is Cal Seaman. Oh, no. Cal is a disgraced movie maker who has worked on such films as Honey, I Shot the Kids, Forrest Dump, and Little Wayne Got Fingered. What? <laughs> I don't remember making any of them. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to. Right, Sean. Did Would you, you like just to call me John? Question? Would no, I what? Wow! Anyway, <laughs> would you like a gaming related question yes. or a riddle? Okay. <laughs> you don't what even do you have to ask me this, okay? Well, you might feel, you know, we'll, we'll see how we get there. Okay, so. What is mi uh, missing on the box art of Left 4 Dead? Uh, the thumb. Yeah. Ding ding. <laughs> Yay. And you rolled a five. Because it's up somebody's ass. Oh. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Oh, dear. You want an eater. No, eat a weight. Ada, wait! Uh, Fuck Ada, 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 bitch! Ada! One day I hope Ada is right, because Ada's always Wong. Mm. Aww. Okay. Ada Wong's got to be first. right sometime. Okay. You see Ada, you start to strangle her. <laughs> she stabs Good. you in the leg. Miss one turn. Son of a bitch! Miss one Are all the Ada cards miss one turn? Um, no. No. One of these times she's gonna hand you a rocket and you're gonna win. Okay. Alright, hang on. I'll just write that down. Miss. A. Turn. I'm writing it so I'm not typing it. Okay. Uh, let's go Cody. Um. Okay. Cody, your character name is Barney Swallows. Barney is a dinosaur that plays guitar and sings songs to kids. Such songs include I Killed Your Mom and I Liked It. You Give Murder a Bad Name. And I Just Called to Say I'll Kill You. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, Cody, gave me a related question or a riddle. I, sh I should tell you, if you go for a riddle, you can get double the score. Game-related question. I was never going to go for the fucking riddle. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm terrible at riddles. <laughs> me too. Uh, okay. Uh, Jumpman's goal is to save the lady from the giant ape in which 1981 arcade game? Donkey Kong. Correct. Incorrect. It's actually Danky Kang. Do you want me to take points from you? Danky Kang. No, please. <laughs> okay. You rolled a four. Well, I did it, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Okay. You are at number five. Good going, Cody. Woo! Okay, Jazz. 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 Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Jazz, your character name is Cindy Sinner. Cindy claims to have seen aliens, ghosts, unicorns, and also claims to have seen a psychiatrist. Yeah. Sounds Seems true. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, gaming or riddle? Gaming. God. <laughs> I want to say riddle, but I I don't want to miss the gaming question. It's about scary. 
<laughs> Fuck. Okay. I don't know why I rolled the dice. I haven't asked you the question yet. So, <laughs> uh, what is the name of the playable character in the video game Catherine? Ooh. Oh, I know this one. That game. What the fuck? I know. I know it's not Catherine, so I'm not gonna. I I can't answer. Just just don't can move I, me. I, I, I've never played the game, so. <laughs> Would you like to go for a riddle just for fun? Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> but before okay. that, it's Vincent. Yes. Fuck you! God damn it! <laughs> what's his What's his second name? Price. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. Price. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, don't, <laughs> I don't know what his last name is. Uh, it's Brooks. Ah. Okay. Okay. So real riddle question: What has to be broken before it can be used? I, I feel like silence. you asked this one before. Yeah, I, I feel like we've heard this one, and I said silence, but it was probably not. So, what was the answer? I'm, I don't know. I'm gonna put silence. <laughs> nope. Tacos. Can't put what I'm Cody said. <laughs> I'm not gonna put what Cody said. Yeah, <laughs> I, I didn't want to say it, so. uh no, it's not that, so... <laughs> you can only access this answer if you want to hear it through the, the special DLC content for only 19 <laughs> Available next month, but only for next month. What a deal. Yeah. Right, well, that was... Uh, well, that's it. Before I end. I have been your game master, Basil Ian Wax. Basil is a great mouse detective. He found the axe mouse of New Orleans. And the city was free from cheesy music. That's the game. They will never be free. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. Sean. I wish my sound pad worked. Hello. Do you have a game? Uh, 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 maybe. Do you want to play it? Sure. My game is called Days of Our Lines. Resident Evil. Today yeah, I'm going to <laughs> Today I'm going to test your knowledge of duel. This Bye. is how it works. I'm going to give each of you a quote from an episode of the show. It could be a legit quote, it could be an altered quote and therefore incorrect, or it could be a completely made up line which is also incorrect. You have to tell me if the quote is correct or not. If you get it right, you get 5 points. If you get it wrong, you get fucked, but you also lose five points. I was so scared you were going to tell us, like, you have to tell me which episode it's from. Nope. I made it easy. What? I made it easy. God, that's Who funny. wants to go first? Me! Jazz! Yeah. Your line is from Leon, and it is Supersonic Leon Power Shot! Uh, is was, that correct? I it was a is that a line? Uh, yes, it's a line. Nope, you are wrong. <laughs> I'm like, I know slightly he does altered. <laughs> it is slightly kick. altered. It is super quadrasonically on power shot. Super 8K kick. <laughs> oh no! Kick. Get, no! <laughs> <laughs> Jazz, who goes next? Alec. Alec. Oh, lovely. Your line is from a villager. And the line is <laughs> open up. It's the cops. <laughs> no, it's open up. It's the police. Ah, good job. You did it. Yeah. I was hoping he would have like got that because I was like, it's the police. It's the police. <laughs> Nerd. Wow. <laughs> Yeah. Cody. Watch me. Now will be my turn. I not get this one right because I knew the other two. <laughs> your quote or your line is from Lewis. The line is Peace out, loserette. Mm, that's slightly altered, I think. Is that your answer? Yeah, I think so. You are incorrect. He says that to Ashley. I thought he said at the castle. 
Huh. Wow, you two should watch. Watch <laughs> You guys got some research to do. <laughs> I'm waiting for the finale. One. I'm a bitch <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? I enjoy you. In my defense, I had a Leon quote, and I I tend to like tune out when he talks. So. What? <laughs> Negative 20 points for Jess. <laughs> yes, I'm in the lead in negatives. <laughs> there we go. Good job, nobody except for Alec. <laughs> yeah, I, I knew I was going to get wrong. I said, now it's my turn. I'm going to get fucked. <laughs> That's how it goes. <laughs> That's how it goes. Now, let's read some comments. Read your comments. <laughs> Okay, so I did things a little <laughs> differently today. Oh! I picked a music video. Ooh. So, today's video comes from Enter the Shadows, Resident Evil 5. Sean's like, do I remember that? I remember that. I worked hard on that video. I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so first comment is from commenter, the chair is back, but Renji won. Nine years ago, that's a fucking weird name. <laughs> <laughs> he, his comment was, awesome vid, and by the way, what do you think about Wesker's death? I personally think he's still alive. What do you think? Uh, so in a on. word? It's fucking garbage. Can I can I elaborate on the Wesker's death situation? Yeah. I fucking hate people. <laughs> my, my buddy still to this day he goes, I'm pretty sure they're gonna bring Wesker back. He couldn't have died there. That's complete bullshit. He uh, <laughs> so many people, so many people I've heard they go, Wesker's not dead. I'm like, frame by frame it. Have you played five? He gets decapitated and melted in lava. You're not coming back from that. Yeah, I'm sorry, but if being in a lava pit and getting two rockets to the face doesn't kill you, nothing will. Capcom <laughs> okay. has actually confirmed that he's dead and not coming back. Yeah, yeah. Which is good. Like, don't... Don't. <laughs> don't fucking do that. They're gonna do, like, Wesker, the prequel. Yeah, they're gonna bring Alex Wesker back. When, Watch. When he was actually, like with Jake's mom and when they were teenagers Alex Wesker was behind everything pulling the strings from the beginning I liked Alex Wesker I'm so mad that they killed oh spoilers <laughs> I'm so many that is not how firing. spoilers work <laughs> spoiler <laughs> warnings so work people in Raccoon City that's what I was gonna say so that leads me to question three, since you kind of skipped question two. Um, are you happy? How do we Wesker skip question is, two? It's like the question, uh, second question was like, do you think Wesker is dead? And you guys Fuck no. Much. <laughs> 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 Anyone else think? <laughs> After all that, he ate, he ate the rocket and held his breath out of the lava until the obviously was gone. <laughs> he fine. came up. He said, "Suckers!" All right? Suckers. <laughs> Are you happy that Wesker is done in Resident Evil Five? No, is he? Are you happy that Wesker's dead? I don't like how it happened, but it did need to happen. So ultimately, I guess yes. I'm not. I liked him. The fact that it was fucking Chris and Sheva? Fuck you. Jill had a headache. Jill was right there. <laughs> yeah, but she, she was, was right there. Escape. She got fucking thrown into a wall by I don't a give rocket. a shit. She was tired. <laughs> All she had to do is push a fucking pull a pull a trigger. Pull a dick. After you know how many triggers she pulled in, in that whole fucking It's game? one more. It's the it's most it's many. the most important one. Listen, when you want to nap, you got to nap. You Apparently. Gotta you can, you know. <laughs> I think Jill should have hijacked the uh, helicopter. Jill should have just jumped off like, oh, I've killed too many people. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on. Um, next Wesker, you is... deserved better. <laughs> My brother. 
is RAF 23 GT nine years ago. Very good music video, man. Five stars. Oh. Question one. What was it good? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? What made you choose uh, Shadows Red for this video? Because I was super duper into the song. That's typically how it goes with music videos for me. I mean, it it <clears throat> it matched like a lot of key scenes, I felt. So there's two things. One, it's like, what am I listening to at the time? What fits the game? And then like lyrically, like what can I do to match a song to a video? Like with the lyrics matching what's going on on screen. So that's kind of, I mean, that's the formula. Any of my music videos, that's kind of... Kind of, it's gonna kind of be how it works out. You sure? Pretty sure. Okay. <laughs> do Do you know something I don't know? Such. You'd make a I good like. cop. You'd make a really good cop. <laughs> Are you sure you didn't do it? Yeah. Did, okay. Did you murder this person? No. Damn. Got the wrong guy. <laughs> Are you sure? Are you sure you didn't fridge this woman? <laughs> what? <laughs> Of course okay, I did. Okay, question two. How did you discover the band Red? Hmm, that's a good question. How the fuck did I discover them? Hmm. Archaeology. Were you feeling blue at the time? <laughs> God, I don't know. That's a really good question. Hmm. Alec, you've stumped him. You have yes. stumpified me. <laughs> it's finally worked. <laughs> we did God it. Damn, I'm trying we to think of like podcast. what the first song Goodbye. I even heard was. It's been so long. I don't have to read any more your fucking comments. Damn it! Oh, no. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> this was my objective the whole time. <laughs> yeah, I don't I fucking remember. A, a news channel like about for Halo Three, and they had one of the songs from Red as their intro. I feel like I probably that? found it like through recommended on YouTube probably because like at the time I was listening to a lot of um <clears throat> like Breaking Benjamin and uh Thousand Foot Crutch and like bands like that and I didn't know at the time but apparently those are like Christian fucking rock bands or whatever which is fucking weird so like so it's Red Flyleaf. Red is another one that's a fucking Christian rock band or whatever. So it probably came up in my recommended feed and I just saw something that looked interesting interesting and clicked on it. That's my theory. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> I don't fucking remember. It was probably in church. <laughs> yeah. That that time that I didn't go. Probably. The funny thing is I discovered Red after watching that video. Yeah, hey, <laughs> hey, you're welcome. <laughs> Red is awesome. Yeah, they all look pretty good. It's the best color. <laughs> <laughs> the color my enemies make after I hit them enough times. <laughs> Ketchup is red, therefore red is great. <laughs> <laughs> Question three. Is there any more songs you want to do for a gaming tribute, you know, if YouTube was stop being a bitch? What? <laughs> That'll never happen. Uh, I mean, I still like when when I did the uh, the Resident Evil Six music video, YouTube was still being a bitch, but I was just like, "Fuck it!" <laughs> like I still I like making music videos, so I, I do want to do more, but it's uh, it's super time consuming because you have to capture so much footage and do so much editing. I mean, you essentially have to go scene by scene through the entire game and cut out all the pieces that you want. It's, it takes a long time. It takes a good couple of weeks of editing to make a music video. So, like, I, it's hard to find the time to do that right now. But I, no, there, no, no, no. there's... Huh? Is it a couple of weeks to make a music video? When you have a full-time job, yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah. I don't know. I made both of mine in, like, a few hours. Well, I mean, do you go through all of the footage, though? Like, if you're... I do. Fuck. Well, I mean, you're going through if like Resident Evil Five or Six, especially Six. Resident Evil Six. There's a difference between music videos and game videos. Huh? Because you're yeah. making like those uh, AMVs, but it's for video games. Yeah. 
music videos are a whole lot easier than making those. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now I understand the difference. Yeah. Music video is different. AMVs, yes. There's a shit ton of editing and going through footage and putting in effects and timing to the music, and it is a nightmare. But it's really satisfying when you're done. But uh, yeah, I mean, there's like there's shit that randomly pops up in my head when I'm at work that I just think of like an idea of a song that that would go what really good with the game and you know I I would like to make them but will it happen who knows <laughs> will I have the time uh, I don't know patreoncom slash the word productions <laughs> I, I feel like that's the only way it's gonna happen have the time basically like if if I get more free time you know i would love to do it but you know working a full-time job and shit in, in combination with trying to get caught up on machinimas and doing the podcast and trying to do let's plays and stuff i mean finding that amount of time is like damn near impossible but it's it's definitely something that i really enjoy doing and something that i would like to go back to doing and i do have a lot of ideas and song choices and games that i'd like to do so yeah there you go okay uh, maybe one day is uh from kieran desmond nine years ago i love these that was fucking comments. awesome <laughs> that was fucking awesome easily the best resi 5 music video i've seen on youtube thank you granted that was that commented was nine years ago so. wow <laughs> <laughs> damn question one what's a good gaming music tribute video that you've seen your favorite kind of thing whatever that other people have made <laughs> uh amvs in general or just uh like ga like yeah. gaming ones yeah gaming whatever there was a fuck there was a resident evil 4 one to a skillet song uh fuck what was the song they're christian band yeah yeah hey they're good it's not my fault they are good that's the thing. It's weird. Well, and that, like I said before, too, like at the time, I didn't even know. It's just like when I found that out, I thought that was super weird, especially given some of the, the themes and the lyrics and stuff. It didn't even really seem to make sense to me, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um, God damn it. What the hell was the name of that song? Mm. God damn While it. While he's thinking, does anyone else have a favorite? Yeah, you do that. Let me I'll look oh, it up yeah. secretly. I have two. Oh look at wow look at you. And they're both they're both by Monkey Pants. Monkey Pants? Uh, yeah, that's the person's name, the YouTuber. But like one of them is the Boulder Field. So it's oh, just God. like <laughs> it's the tribute to Chris and the Boulder. And it's just so funny. I fucking love it. And the other one is um uh fuck what is it called? The the Resident Evil Cell Block Tango. So like that song from Chicago. And they used all these it, the timing is done really well, and I really like that one. But again, they're like funny. They're not super serial. I haven't watched an AMV in like 15 years. <laughs> yeah, they're Can definitely not things? as big. Well, I guess since uh, since I haven't watched one in plenty of time, remember LimeWire? I, oh, God. My, my favorite, because <laughs> it's the only one I can clearly remember was Last Resort by Papa Roach set to Dragon Ball Z when Trunks, uh, went Super Saiyan because Gohan died. Mm. Yeah. For sure it's not with that, you on Dragon Ball Z. That was like <laughs> 2001. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you to, to find it now and rewatch it, you'd be like, okay. <laughs> God, I can't even find it. I don't know. Some fucking Resident Evil 4 music video with Skillet. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a really good one with Resident Evil 4 with Stupid Motherfucker by Mindless Self-Indulgence. That's a good one, too. That, that was pretty good. good. <laughs> and uh, the Terracotta Pie or whatever. I remember there was one with Naruto to Die Motherfucker Die by Dope. It's just there's so many of them that like have like subtitles and like they just linger on a scene too long and... There's just so they many. The same I just scene yeah, multiple times, or it's yeah. just like they or slow they like it down it. to where it's so choppy that it's just fucking irritating. There's just so many. I can't. And it's just gotten worse too because like since I've made my own, like I'm so anal about mine that when people don't put in the effort, 
it just makes me even more upset. Because <laughs> I mean, you can make things so good, and you don't want to put in the effort, but you made this video and you put it out there. Why? If you're gonna if you're gonna make a video, like commit to it, put in the time, or don't. I've had like six or seven resi mixes of just like kind of like AMV Hell when I used to watch that shit, but it was all Resident oh Evil. God, I remember those. I used to have fun with that, but like the fucking YouTube would end up muting half of them because that's when they started mm, being assholes. Yeah. So I never went back. Like the the most I've gotten away with, and I'm surprised, was um when I was playing through Resident Evil 6, I would like record my gameplay and then I would just like add a random song to just Helena getting fucked all the time by everything. <laughs> and I've got like four of them on there and they haven't been muted yet, so... The there's also that, uh, what what was it, uh, Resident Evil 5 Dance Party or whatever the fuck it was? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that one was probably one of the best. That one's real good. Oh, my God. I forgot about there's See, there. So there's many. some good ones, back. but there's so many bad ones. They're all coming back. I swear to God, there's like 5,000 bad ones for every one good one. <laughs> <laughs> That's the YouTube. Yeah. And that was Read Your Comments. Ass. Batman. 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 When are you going to finish that? Ah! Updates. Remember how we were talking about making content is hard? We were just bugging him today about episode two of Coop. I did, but you said these are the entire lines for the whole series, and I did all of them multiple times and sent them to you, and only episode one came out. Uh, wh what? I haven't written the whole series. You told me for uh, all the scenes for the character I have is all the scenes he has in the entirety of the show. For Robin? Yeah. Fuck, no. There must have been a miscommunication on that one there. <laughs> I was just like, I did all the lines for the entirety of it, and only, like, three got used. <laughs> no, I mean, there's there's not a ton for him, but, yeah, there's more, for sure. You're not done. <laughs> uh, yes, you but no, I, it. I'm gonna. I'm trying. <laughs> But I mean, that is the idea, hopefully, you know, once I get episode 13 done, like, I want to start doing that where it's like, I write the fucking whole thing, and then I can have everybody record all their shit at once, and then I can edit it all together, and then release them like over, I don't know, the course of maybe a month or two, depending weekly. on, yeah, like weekly is the goal. So, yeah. Hopefully down the road it won't be so fucking terrible. <laughs> it won't be one to like two I years per episode. Listen. <laughs> you should. I I need more machinima content. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean I wanna I wanna finish everything. I wanna finish, you know, the new adventures of old Mega Man and Umbrella Co op and Batman <laughs> Unjustice. I wanna do everything. Everything. Um, where the fuck were updates. we? Oh yeah, updates. <laughs> 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 it's time for some updates. What you got going on, Jess? Uh, not much. I <clears throat> tried to work on some Halloween stuff, but my computer was being real stupid, so I haven't done that yet. I need to find an alternative. And uh, other than that, I, I haven't been doing much of anything, so. Wow. <laughs> Every time I get ready to record, like, either my voice is fucked up or I'm just, like, not feeling it. So, I don't know. I'll, I'll get to that hopefully this week. Give Val, like, what he needs for, for stupid things. Life is stupid things. Life is stupid things. I know, I tried to shorten <laughs> it, but then I was like, that just sounds like stupid. <laughs> stupid machinima. Wow. As in life is stupid, machinima. All my machinimas are stupid. I mean, that's kind of no, the name of the life. game. <laughs> it's, it's what we life. do. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, other than that, no. that's. I'm losing my weekend of playing games and stuff because I have to go to the cottage. That sucks. 
<laughs> well, that's, that sounds like a horror. I thought movie. the cottage. <laughs> I thought the cottage was gonna go away. Was gonna what? Go away. No more having to go to the cottage. Oh yeah, she's closing it. Like I, I don't usually go because of the podcast, and now hockey started up. But she's, uh, she's closing it up this weekend. So. It's just the way that you said that is like, oh, I, I can't do this anymore because I'm going to be going to the cottage oh, all the time. Just, just, no, no, just this weekend. <clears throat> like, I can't use this weekend to catch up on <clears throat> on playing stuff and mm. trying to get ahead because I'm going to be gone until Monday. So it's like, fuck. Fuck. <laughs> fuck. Plus hockey. Plus now hockey started up again, so I'm losing my Saturday evenings. Like, I come back and I have headaches and I'm tired. and So... Yay! That sounds <laughs> like a lot that, of fun. <laughs> but other than that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to keep working on more stuff. Keep working a little bit on episode four when my computer decides to smarten up, and uh, finish writing the script for a little bonus thing I was doing. A, a little bonus. <laughs> a nice. Bonus. A tiny bonus. Yeah. Is that all? Yeah. Good job, Alec. Yeah. Well, that was computer rated. <laughs> wow. What are you working on? Lost jazz. What? No. Jazz. What? No, she's here. Alec. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hi. What you got going on and coming up? Um. Yeah. I can't really say much about uh, life is stupid, other than it's still waiting for uh, filler lines, but. Yeah, that's just how it goes. Um, but otherwise, I've been playing new games. I'm trying to play new games so then I can write parody for it. So this is just what I do. I, I play games and I just think of how can I take the piss out of it. <laughs> I can't play games to enjoy anymore. Yeah. <clears throat> Welcome to my life. <laughs> yeah. So, so many ideas. Plus, I'm just I'm still waiting to find a the perfect laptop to uh, hook the Elgada up and get that rolling with uh, outside residents. But yeah, there's still inspiration going, and I dare say more projects will come, but that's all I can say now. Beautiful. Beautiful. Cody, what's, uh, what's uh, going on? Um, I've been kind of busy, so I haven't been able to work on too much. I got some Let's Plays, like, that I haven't uploaded yet. I'm trying to, like, build up all of that again so I can start uploading daily again. Because I fell behind once more, mainly due to music and doing a bunch of shows and all of that. So, couldn't really focus on getting YouTube done 100%. And, uh, and other things stopping me. So, like I said, I'll talk about after we're done. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, I, I think I might make a machinima or two here shortly. Might do it today if I'm feeling feeling up to the task. Yeah. Do it. Make a mini series, maybe. A lifetime original series. <laughs> do a mini series, maybe on like Silent Hill or something. Yeah, you should. That would be awesome. Something spoopy for Halloweenus. Yeah, I tried doing my Halloween thing this month, but fell behind so hard that I just I'm not even pr gonna do it yeah, I should I'm... do a Christmas thing for Halloween <laughs> <laughs> yeah I still like I said before I can't fucking believe the month is half over already it's just blowing my mind <sighs> beautiful time is a construct <laughs> that it is. <laughs> Time keeps on slipping, slipping, slipping. Into your anus. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> we got him to sing a lot of. Fuck! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Anything else, Cody? Are you working on? Um, not really. I'm hoping to get more music stuff done, but. Yeah, for once, I'm actually, I don't got anything too crazy in the pipeline right now other than a Let's Play that I got, which is a continuation of Destiny, because I filmed that base game last year and never did the DLC, so now I'm continuing it with the DLC. So I recorded all of Curse of Osiris in one sitting, which was about four and a half hours worth of content, 
uh, story-wise anyway, not the bonus stuff like dungeons and raids and all that jazz. And uh, so yeah, got that coming, which that's probably going to be eight-ish parts, if anything, maybe. And that's about it. Beautiful. Yeah. Glorious. <laughs> Hello, hello, Sean. hello. Is, how is, how, are there any updates? <laughs> Say the words. <laughs> Get fucked. Wow, those are the words. <clears throat> um, I'm still kind of fucking mostly it's at the same point I was last week. 13. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Uh, I still didn't fucking get the goddamn sound pad to work, as you guys know. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm getting a bunch of horror-themed let's plays ready to start up uh either before this podcast is up or immediately after so some kind of halloween-ish horror game let's plays those will at least be up while i'm working on the couple of machinimas that i want to do for halloween um <clears throat> which i'm hopefully going to be able to knock out this week i want to try and get one or two videos done this week hopefully like one short machinima like two two or three minutes long and uh i don't know so maybe like a topical video or something talk about like survival horror games or something along those lines um and at some point this month i do want to try and like we've talked about i want to start doing that resident evil 2 board game um i guess it's a let's play i don't know how that's gonna work but uh where we just play the board game on camera and see kind of how that goes we'll just kind of figure it out figure it out as we go um but yeah i want to definitely get that going this month um that's kind of it i need to i still need to send you the rest of ada's lines cody so that you can get those cleaned up um since we yeah. figured out that we can do that i need to do that <sighs> i'm going to try to do that tomorrow i'm going to try to do that tomorrow and i'm going to try to do uh, your the Halo Let's Play. I'll try to do those at the same time. And then that'll free me up for Monday where I can just do voice recording because that's the other thing that I really need to... That's the main thing I need to do because everybody's waiting on me, including myself! So I got to do a lot of voice acting and get that done 100% and then I'll move on from there. But yeah, so I mean, kind of more of the same with some more shit stacked on top <laughs> that I just need to fucking get done. Yeah. Mm. Mm. But I'm committed. You know, I I need to fucking start making a lot more progress than I've been making. Like today, I stayed up after work to make sure that I got notes done and we were on time for the podcast. Good to go. So, yeah, I did that. So, step one, hashtag commitment. <laughs> need to get progress done. But, yeah, that's kind of it for me. I'm trying. <laughs> Life is hard, everybody. Life is stupid. Life is stupid. It's true. This has been episode 55. The future of gaming is scary. And really the future in general at this point is kind of scary. But don't worry. We'll be here to make fun of it all. And to complain about it like an old man yelling at children to get off his lawn. Remember, try not to get fridged. Do not. The mo Yeah, that's the moral of the story. Don't get fridged, everybody. Because apparently it's a really bad thing. And apparently it's a thing at all. <laughs> yeah, right? We just found that out together. It was a, it was a journey. <laughs> Double rainbow. If you enjoy the show or any of the content we make, you can help us out by throwing a few bucks our way at patreon.com slash the word productions. Don't forget to tell your friends, your family, and your small animals about us so that we can touch more people in a totally platonic way. With that said... Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, and we will see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. Get fridged. <laughs>